Charlottesville nonprofit spent the afternoon remembering 25 years of service. The group took time to look back at what they've accomplished and look forward to what they hope to accomplish next. Avery Davis is live in studio to show us how Building Goodness Foundation honored the huge milestone. The nonprofit says when it first started out, it never imagined how many lives and communities it would touch. Now it's reached 25 years and celebrated with the help of everyone who has supported them along the way. We're building goodness, we're working with other nonprofits and homeowners. So many people are critical to this process. Building goodness by building homes in Charlottesville, schools in Guatemala, clinics in Haiti, and much more. It all started in Charlottesville with these people. We are so grateful to the Charlottesville community for coming together and rallying. Every single week we have something going on in Charlottesville where the Charlottesville community is so special and we are so grateful to be a part and to work with so many amazing people here. Courtney Polk is executive director of Building Goodness Foundation. She says the nonprofit invited more than 3,000 supporters to its 25th anniversary volunteer celebration. Internationally, we have built 31 buildings and locally here in Charlottesville we work with local nonprofit organizations we've worked with 200 nonprofit organizations 170 homeowners and 33 small businesses the celebration also featured a new award one that is given to someone who goes above and beyond for their nonprofit work the Community Builder Award goes to someone who not only has given an incredible amount to Building Goodness Foundation, but also who gives a whole lot in the community of Charlottesville and other communities around the world. Now, the construction nonprofit says it's looking ahead to the next 25 years. We are so excited for the next 25 years. We're going to take all these volunteers and all of this goodness, and we're going to continue building here in Charlottesville, the state of Virginia, across Central America, and we are not giving up on Haiti. We're going to keep working there as well. Polk tells me they are grateful to the 2,500 volunteers who have helped them along the way and made reaching this point possible. Live in the studio, Avery Davis, 29 News at 6.